Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a cereal box and a, a regular box. Um, they are going to be available on my Etsy shop. And so I will go ahead and walk with you guys through this so that we can get it designed, printed and assembled. Uh, but the first thing I did want to mention here is that for this one, you will need two of these because this is going to be a larger box than what this is. Um, so the measurements of the larger box is going to be 6.7 by 9.25. And again, you're going to need two of these boxes. And then for the smaller box, which is not going to fully wrap around a mini cereal box, similar to how if you guys watched Alicia's video on the cereal boxes, which I will link above, you'll see hers, she was able to act, actually wrap around a mini cereal box. Mainly due to the print thin cut limitations, you're not going to be able to wrap it around the full cereal box. What you will be able to do here is use a resellable bag and pour in whatever cereal you're going to use. Okay, so I will show you guys how to use these templates for uh, Cricut and we will go from there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a fill, a print, a pattern, and then I will choose it here. And then I'm just going to edit this so that that crease is not there. So around 250 is good. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a fill here. So to start this one, I'm going to ungroup it. And then I will click on this one right here. I'm gonna go to my print. Okay, so now that I have it um, color-wise the way that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and select this and just group it back together. Okay, and now I will begin inserting my clip art. So this clip art that I'm inserting um, the swords here, I did this with the help of Alicia, um, her video, which I'll also link um, because it was super helpful being able to do this in Photoshop. And I was a little bit intimidated, but it was super easy. So um, this one, I just added hearts there. And then this one has the standard polka dots um, that the LOL dolls have on their standard logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those and add them into my project. I'm gonna make this about two inches. And I'm like this about three inches. So that ended up being about maybe 3.3 3 inches for the LOL logo if you do end up using you know the same the same idea. So you just wanna make sure that your design is within this space here, um, cause this is where your score lines are gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish designing this, and then we will get this printed and assembled.
Okay, so as you can see here, I've already added my score lines here. And just take a look at where everything is. So that looks good. And now I'm going to attach. I'm going to enter, finish entering my score lines for this box right here. And then I will duplicate. Okay, and then what I typically like to do is hide this. Okay, so I have my print score cut for each box. I will go to send to printer and I'm gonna print off each one. I'm gonna cut this on cardstock and I'm gonna be trying out a thicker cardstock with my HP printer. I know my Epson printer does take a 110 pound cardstock, but um, I don't know if my HP does. So I'm gonna attempt to test that out as well. On something um, I just have to wait for Michaels to get it back in stock So here is the end result of the boxes. This one is the larger one. You can fit a pretty good size amount of things in here. I'm actually thinking I'm going to use this one for the treats and different things like that. And then this one I think I will be using for um, the cereal. My daughter's birthday is actually next week, so I'll probably put on uh, my Instagram page how I decide to use this box, but this one will definitely be for the cereal and such. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.